Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world. This is a Cube Conversation. Hi, and welcome to a special conversa Cube Conversation. I'm Stu Miniman, coming to you from our Boston area studio, and really uh, happy to welcome to the program to dig into some of the latest on what's going on in the multi-cloud ecosystem. First, welcoming back to the program, not too far from where I'm sitting, Joe Caradonna. He is the Vice President of Engineering Technologies with Dell Technologies, and joining him, someone he knows quite well, is Rich Sanzi, who is the Vice President of Engineering at Google Cloud. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Great to be Thank here, you. Too. All right, so Joe, uh, you know, we, we've been watching, you know, Dell Technologies, how the cloud, uh, you know, portfolio and solution has been maturing and working with the ecosystem. So maybe set the table for us, uh, you know, what's Dell doing with cloud? You know, why, why are we sitting here uh, with, with our Google? Well, we're here to talk about our, our 1FS for Google Cloud offering. Um, you know, we did something really special with Google here. We brought together the power and scale of our 1FS file system, along with the economics and the simplicity of public cloud. And together, I think what we did is define a new standard for scalable file in public cloud where we have a game changing performance and capacity. Uh, we have a full range of, of enterprise grade uh, data, data management capabilities uh, and we enable real hybrid cloud and open up new, new use cases for our customers. Excellent, Th thanks Joe for setting the table on that. Uh, Rich, let, let's pull you into the conversation. Uh, before we go into the Google thing, give, give us a little bit about your background. You know, you, you, you've been in storage as I, I hinted at you, you worked with, uh, with Joe before, uh, and tell us about your role inside of Google. Yeah, so um, I actually joined Google um, a few years ago, uh, responsible for storage and uh, storage for all of Google in addition to Google Cloud. And then, uh, you know, big company things, uh, you know, we've been growing rapidly and an opportunity opened up where I could be uh, much more engaged on the compute side. And so I'm responsible for compute, uh, the IaaS infrastructure for uh, Google Cloud Engine. So it's uh, uh, my pleasure to be here and uh, support Joe and uh, Dell Technologies in the launch of one of us on Google Cloud. Yeah, uh, you know, Rich, I'd, I'd like to come back to you on something because you know when you look at you know cloud, you know, for for many years it was you know cloud versus you know taking over the world, destroying you know, everything before it. And especially, you know, you look at compute or, you know, storage specifically, you know, people have a little bit of a hard time wrapping their heads around, you know, where my application lives, does it just live one place? Are my applications going a little bit hybrid there? Um, you know, I, I look back, you know, the disclosure, you know, I worked at EMC for years. We know that, you know, storage is complicated and diverse. That's why, you know, we have file, block, and object. We have lots of different uh, types of solutions out there. There's never been a silver bullet that says, okay, 90% of the people you know, can you know, use this one thing for everything. So, you know, Rich, let, let's start with you. You know, cloud definitely has changed the discussion of storage, but you know, we, we, I've, I feel like I've seen the enterprise solutions looking more like the hyperscalers and the hyperscale solution, you know, blurring the lines with what was traditionally happening in the data center. Did, did, did you, do you agree with some of that? Oh yeah, uh, so absolutely. I mean, I think it's really nice when you control the horizontal and the vertical, and you can adapt your um, your application stack. But that's just not the reality where we are today. Uh, the reality is that um, you a, a cloud vendor uh, working with customers to uh, bring their workloads on uh, into the cloud have to be able to support all of the best in class uh, types of storage um, that you know. People are using, you're absolutely right, we're using cloud, or sorry, we're using objects, we're using block, we're using file. Um, one of the great uh, pieces of this is that uh, in, in the file space, you really need scalable file uh, to go along with your scalable compute. Excellent, yeah. so, and I'll, and I'll please just add go to, ahead, Joe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, our customers for a long time have been asking, or Iceland customers in particular, asking for a long time to bring this type of capability to uh, to the cloud. I mean, they want the uh, scalability of the elastic compute in the in the GPUs. Uh, they also want the OpEx model, right? And, and they want to be able to bring the high performance compute workloads uh, to the cloud, but they need a, 
scalable file system that can keep up with the demand. And that, that's what we set out to solve for. Excellent. So, you know, Joe, you mentioned uh, that the, the Isilon piece, you know, we've watched what, what's happened with 1FS, you know, Isilon has always been software at the core and, and highly scalable. So, uh, like you, you both, you know, Joe, you teed it up there, but, you know, Rich, you know, why is, you know, this important for Google Cloud customers and, you know, how's it different from maybe how they were doing things in the past? Well, I think one of the things that I'm really excited about is that um, this enables customers to leverage the cloud and not make a ton of changes on their stuff. So it, it really uh, allows them to preserve their investment and um, their applications and the way that they think about storage and the way they think about uh, how that scales and performs. So that, that for me is, uh, um, let's make it easy for customers to consume cloud uh, rather than uh, make it a hurdle. And that's, that's, uh, that's my view. Yeah, and, and Joe, help, help frame us uh, this for us a little bit. You know, we uh, watched Dell Technologies recently had, you know, the power store announcement, a lot of discussion about, you know, cloud native architectures, moving to microservices. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've been, you know, Google's one of the earliest and, you know, most prominent uh, examples of, you know, containerized architectures out there. Um, so, you know, where, where does the file solution fit in this whole discussion that customers have about, you know, modernization of their applications and the journey that they're, they're going on? Yeah, well, you know, not all applications lend themselves well to object. Uh, they need, you know, file semantics, as well as the performance characteristics that come along with that in terms of uh, throughput and, and latencies. Uh, but even beyond that, you know, what our customers are looking for is the data management capability, right? Whether it's uh, snapshots or the multi-protocol data access for, you know, NFS or SMB or even HDFS, right? And they're looking for replication, native replication, so they can have their Isilon systems in the data center, replicate their data directly into uh, the file service of the cloud uh, so they can actually operate on that data. And then there's things that we take for granted now, at least in the data center, uh, of that high availability and high dur uh, durability that storage arrays deliver. So it's a combination of, uh, of things that, that, that make it attractive uh, for customers that open up these uh, new workloads, especially in terms of uh, high performance compute. Excellent. Uh, you know, you, you talked a bit about uh, some of the reasons why you know, customers would, would want file. Of course, scale is one of those things we've been talking about for many years. Scale means different things to many people. There's few companies that know scale better than Google. Uh, so, you know, Rich, you know, talk about a little bit scalability, performance, what, what these type of solutions, uh, you know, mean and what you're hearing from customers. Uh, certainly um, from a scale perspective, things like objects or, you know, an object store is, is super scalable, it's also, um, you know, requires application changes to really make use of. Um, you know, customers are really looking for um, scalable solutions that uh, enable them to bring their existing applications to the cloud and not have to make a ton of changes to it. That's one of the things I think is great about the Dell offering is that it is a sort of full fidelity uh, solution that is um, a performance, uh, has the performance and scale of what customers are expecting from their on-premise. And then when we wire that up with the uh, Google network uh, into our uh, Google Cloud uh, compute regions, uh, we get very high performance uh, and very, very high fidelity, low latency as a result. We think that that uh, removes uh, potential headaches that customers may have when they bring big applications uh, in the HPC space and um, in related uh, performance computing space. Into the cloud. Great, and Joe, is, is all of this available now? Tell, tell us a little bit about availability. You know, what, what, what do you expect the demand to be for, for this solution? Well, I expect the demand to be great, right? We, uh, the kind of workloads we're talking about here are cut across uh, a wide range of, of verticals. So, you know, everything from whether it's life sciences for genomics research, uh, oil and gas for seismic uh, data processing, um, media and entertainment for video editing and rendering or even finishing, um, automotive telemetry data that, that requires processing and, and scale, 
and, and EDA. So I think it hits upon a, a wide variety of use cases and, and, and verticals. Um, and we've even uh, structured our, our pricing and our tiers to make it uh, more accessible for, uh, for use cases from high performance all the way down to even archival. Um, so maybe, maybe just uh, to clarify, this is GA today? Ah, yes, it is GA. <laughs> okay, <laughs> excellent. No, behind us. Yeah. Appreciate that. And, and how does, you, you mentioned flexibility on pricing. How much of this, you know, is what's available from Google, what's available from Dell? How does that relationship and, and go to market work together? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a native service in Google. Um, you can provision uh, directly from the Google, Google portal. Uh, you can manage your file systems uh, directly from the Google portal. And uh, the billing is, is integrated. So you get one bill from Google, uh, whether it's for our 1FS file service or any of uh, Google's native services. Excellent. Yeah, Rich, would love to hear, you know, talk about from the Google side, uh, the ecosystem. Uh, I know last year, uh, I was at the the, the Google Next uh, event. You know, really saw you know strong demand from the partner community. Uh, you know, they're they're looking to you know work with Google. Many have worked with Google for many years. Uh, you know, what kind of feedback have you been getting, and and uh, how this fits into the overall solution? So, um, from a you know partner perspective, you know one of the things that we uh, we we really want to enable our partners is to bring uh, their services onto our platform and integrate them tightly uh, as if they were a Google offering. And that's so things like the integrated billing, the provisioning from the Google portal, things like that are uh, core tenants for us for um, helping uh, our customers and our partners' customers easily consume services uh, in the cloud. So the, the sort of one of the P0 uh, requirements uh, from my perspective for our product offering here was that in fact, it, it was just integrated into um, in, into the uh, Google Cloud Platform, and that would be discoverable and easily usable by customers. So that that's uh, I, I think that enables partners to deliver a first class service on our. Platform. Yeah, I mean, Rich, absolutely. What some of the feedback I've gotten from the ecosystem is, you know, how do they put it? They say Google kind of puts you through the ringer. By the time you get through that. It is going to work, and of course, we know Google is doing that to make sure that there are, you know, good, reliable, strong services by the time the end customer gets. Them. All right, yes, Joe. Uh, what? Yeah, but it's, 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 go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you know, uh, uh, delivering these services and delivering them reliable, reliably is a uh, it's a multi company partnership. But we understand that at the end of the day, the customer uh, wants to be uh, assured that there is. Um, uh, they they have one contact for problems with the service, and um, and so that's that's where uh, Google very much wants to uh, be that be that uh, primary contact for because who knows where the issues could be? Are they in the data center? Or are they in the network? Or are they on the storage side? So we feel responsibility to front front run that. Front. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Joe, I guess final thing for you, uh, talk about you know the Dell Technologies, you know Google Cloud relationship why that's important, what differentiates it um, from some of the many other partnerships uh, that, that Dell has. Yeah, sure. Um, before I touch on that, I want to talk about, you know, you mentioned scale, and scale means different things to different people. And when we're talking about scale here, you know, the capacity is one element of that, and we certainly scale that way. Uh, but performance is the other way. And, you know, ESG did a performance study on uh, the 1FS file service that we're offering. And they fired up uh, the um, uh, IOZone benchmark, um, which fired up over a thousand cores in Google uh, running NFS load to the file system. They sized the file system at, at two petabytes, which seems large, and it is, uh, but you can scale much larger than that with, with our service. And their results on throughput was 200 gigabytes per second on, on the read and 100 gigabytes per second on the write. Now, these are game-changing numbers, right? It's numbers like that that enable, you know, compute-intensive, uh, uh, high-performance workloads in the Google Cloud, and we're opening that up. And it's also important to note that 
you know, this is a scalable file system. So if you want to double those throughput numbers, you just double the capacity of your file system. So that's the, that's the power of scale that we're delivering here. And our file system can scale up to 50 petabytes. So a lot of runway there. As far as the partnership with, with Google goes, I mean, Google has been great. They, their infrastructure is amazing. In order to hit those kind of performance numbers, you know, your head goes to compute in the in the file system, but there's also there's also a network in there, and at those kind of numbers, Google had to supply a, a two terabit per second network, and they were able to supply the compute uh, and the network with ease and without a hiccup. So uh, it's together that we you know solving for the compute network and storage equation uh, that we can deliver a you know holistic solution. Um, and and lastly, I'll just point out. Uh, the engineering teams work great bringing that cloud native experience into that Google portal, you know, really simplifying the user experience so uh, they can provision and manage the systems directly from the from the portal, uh, as well as unifying the billing. So I think the partnership's been been great, and it's it's going to be interesting to see how our customers uh, use the service to accelerate their their cloud journey. Well, Joe and Rich, thank you so much for the updates. Congratulations on uh, the GA of this. Definitely look forward to hearing uh, you know, the customer journeys as they go on. Thank you, Stu. All right. Thank you. And Rich, thank you for your partnership. Yeah, you're welcome, Joe. Thank you as well. All right, but be sure to check out thecube.net for all the coverage, the virtual events that we're participating, well as the back catalog of interviews that we've done. I'm Stu Miniman, and as always, thank you for watching theCUBE.